Hey, it's your bud Doug Owens here. Welcome to another edition of the Artist Lounge at Mixed Country 96. We have with us Liz Moriando from the Ozark Hills of Missouri. It's so uh, great to have you in our studios today. Thank you for having me here. How was the trip in? It was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful this is day. some really pretty countryside. And you guys like have your own little lake out here. Yeah, I thought you were going to run off and start fishing. I, I almost did. I almost thought, Delay our interview. we're not doing this radio interview. I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> Now, in reading about you, Liz, uh, I read that when you were uh, young, you had aspirations of either being a basketball player, a member of the Supreme Court, or uh, a country music artist, and we're so glad you chose the third. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It's a lot of fun. You know, I've, I've done a lot of different things in my life. Um, played college basketball. I was on the political science pre-law route for a while. Graduated from Belmont with a degree in psychology and chased my dream in Nashville. And here I am, still chasing that same dream. So. And you've opened for some big acts, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've been really, really blessed to get to play a lot of festivals with some big name acts and open up for people like Tim McGraw and Big and Rich, Train, One Republic, a wide array of artists. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been a crazy ride. Now, one thing that I really enjoyed uh, in doing research on you uh, is the fact that you do this kitchen concert series. It's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. It's had like over 12 million views probably close to 13 million by now yeah and you do some parody songs i do yeah so will you, will in, you, will you do one later for us uh, like, we'll talk about it we'll okay. talk about it okay. yeah of course i will you know i will it's funny when i wrote that parody i never thought i'm gonna be playing this for the rest of my life but i'm so glad i am i'm so glad i am but yeah in 2014 um, megan trainer released her song all about that bass um, but as Doug mentioned earlier, I'm from Missouri, and I grew up in the Ozark Mountains hunting and fishing. And where I come from, it's not all about that bass. It's all about that bass. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that. Well, uh, you're you. in for a treat if you haven't heard that yet. Uh, you're big with the NASCAR series too, aren't you? Yes. You've played so a few tracks. I have. For a couple years in there, I toured um, with my sponsorship through Bass Pro. And I played Charlotte, Texas, Chicago, New Hampshire... Uh, Bristol, we went all over the place, and it was just a total blast. I had a great time with it. Bristol is that tiny track, right? It's my favorite. Isn't that cool? It is so cool. Did you feel the vortex as the oh, cars went yeah. around? yeah, and it's so loud. Like, you cannot hear anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally nothing. Like, if you want to order a drink somewhere, you have to write it down, like, or food. You have to write it down on a chalkboard <laughs> and show the people, because you cannot hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> Now, you've released three albums thus far. Uh, you're releasing uh, an EP this year. Yeah, this is my fourth. Tell us about that, please. Yes, yeah, so this is actually a 10-song record. It started as an EP, and I kind of couldn't quit. There were just too many songs I really wanted to include on there. So it's a it's a nine-song with a bonus track. So there's 10 tracks on there. Um, the title track is called Hate This Song. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really excited about it. It's available on my website, and the singles are available on Spotify and iTunes and all that fun stuff. Now tell us about your uh, new single you've been uh, circulating. We played yes. it on the air this morning. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, so my new single is called You Made Me, Mama's Song, and it is all about my mom. She's my hero and the person that has really made me who I am and who I really look up to. Um, so I, I wanted to share that with the world and, and also share the struggles that I feel like every child goes through with their parent. You know, you butt heads at a certain age, and my mom was always right. She was. Like, I, that's what this song, my mom makes the joke. You wrote a song that was called You Made Me when you should have written a song called You Were Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so true. Like, all those things that. She was rubbing it in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She always knows best. That's What's your mom's sure. name? Rita. Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, Rita. Hi, Get mom. your girl here. <laughs> uh, would you like to perform that for us? Or did sure. you have another one? Did no, another I'm, I'm totally prepared trying to, to do that trying to dictate your one. performance here. But no, uh, I would love to play that one. You guys will get to hear the acoustic, behind-the-scenes version of it. Excellent. Liz Moriando. When you say nothing good happens after midnight Stayed out just to see if you were right And you were right I made that call, you came and picked me up Spilled into the car And you gave me that look Half proud and half disappointed Begged you not to tell dad about it But you made me
to tell the truth when I tell a white lie Bought me a Ford, taught me how to drive Let me be a kid till I wasn't anymore You gave me really too much and let me soar And it changed me Sorry about my chills. They're no. not, they're not oh, bumping into you, are they? <laughs> my gosh. Well, we can all relate to that. Uh, uh, who doesn't have a mama? You know, we all do, and we can all relate to that. And before uh, you sing the parody song, and I can't <laughs> wait, uh, tell us about your television appearances. You've made a few over the years, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So um, after my All About That Bass video went viral, <laughs> I was uh, featured on several outdoor television shows, including a fishing show called Lunkerville and Spiritual Outdoor Adventures, where I killed my first buck in Tennessee. And it was uh, really, really neat getting to go and do that and kind of see how that all works. You know, I've watched the shows before, and it's just interesting to actually be a part of it and see how it all works. So. Uh I've got to ask you, my yeah. parents are from Tennessee, I have relatives down there and in Georgia, where did you get the buck? We were in Hendersonville. Ah, excellent. Yes. Johnny Cash country. Okay, okay, yeah, we were just right outside of Nashville, so mm -hmm. actually a co-writer friend of mine, Jimmy Seitz, is who took me out there and he has the TV show on the Hunt Channel and we had a really good time. Now I may be going out on a limb here, Liz, but have you thought about, have you considered uh, a parody called All About That Buck? Oh, no, you know, I haven't. That's a good idea. Listen to that. That's a good idea. You should write it with me. Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd probably just, uh, you know, hold the pencil as you, you know, oh, dictate it. Oh, I doubt it's that. <laughs> now, there's a video uh, on YouTube of you in a boat, and you're with a guy, oh, and gosh. you push him overboard. I do. Yeah, what, what's this, what was the story of that? I can't yeah. quite remember. I was laughing so hard. Well, yes. that is an original song. Um, it was also a single that I just released to my fans. Um, it was called Throw You Back. And it's about fishing for love okay. and having to throw a few back. <laughs> so in the video, I had to throw a few back. <laughs> I can it's like life, you know. <laughs> yeah. I finally found a keeper fish, but, <laughs> but I had to throw quite a few back first. That's cool. Well, I bet he feels like a lucky guy. Oh, well, I'm a lucky girl, too. So. And we feel very lucky and that you're going to perform that parody song that I keep twisting your arm over and I got a prop. Oh yes. This Courtesy of Liz Moriando. <laughs> the All About That Bass official cap which I'm happy to wear. And but, you, uh, can, you can get your own All About That Bass cap if you head over to my website. Excellent. LizMoriando.com. Thank you Liz. Alright, you ready for mm -hmm. this? Shit. 
and even girls like to go hunting. Bought my sheep, bought me my first fishing pole and line. And she said, boys like a girl who can outfish them anytime. And no, I won't be no girly girl manicure party doll. Uh -uh. So if that's what you'll be. Cause you know I'm all about that fast, about that fast on oh, middles. All about that fast, about that fast on oh, middles. I'm all about that fast, about that fast on oh, middles. I'm all about that fast, about that fast. I'm bringing camo back. Go ahead and tell them city women that. No, I'm just playing. I know they think we trash. But I'm here to tell you even. Females like to fish and even girls like to go hunting. Mama, she bought me my first fishing pole and line. And she said, boys like a girl who can outfish them anytime. But I can. And no, I won't be no girly girl manicure Barbie doll. No way. So if that's what you'll end Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Miss <Ms>. Moriando. <laughs> that was so cool. I have Thanks. one more uh, request uh, before you leave and we okay. wrap this up. And we've had such a good time visiting with you here at the Artist Lounge in Mixed Country 96. When you're on stage, either at the CMA Awards oh. or the ACM Awards, don't make no difference. Can you give us a plug? Oh, when you're accepting yes. your award? Heavens yes. Okay, we appreciate that. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me. This has really been a lot of fun. You're very welcome. Tell your family hello. I'll give your fellow our best and uh, safe travels. All right. Liz Moriando on the Artist Lounge on Mixed Country 96. Check it out at kwwr.com. We'll see you next time.